your girl hit 2k i will be announcing the cash giveaway finally gotta make sure you stay until the end that's where i will be giving away all the details yeah you used to be my baby remember when you used to wear my chain and my bracelets i know you blushing when i make a statement so don't you worry about them bitches i don't entertain them they only want me because i'm famous Welcome, welcome back to my channel and as always y'all don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way in and of course on your way out as you guys may know this is an exciting time for me girl finally reached 2k I worked really really hard for it I really didn't have a lot of help like y'all I really just got it from the ground up and I'm super super happy before we get into the video y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl and as you guys can tell by that title you already know what we're gonna be talking about but we just gonna get straight into this video Today I will be doing a seafood boil mukbang. I know you guys are probably like why I got them in these bowls, but guys, I do not have any foil to put it on a tray, so that's why I do not have it on a tray. We have crab legs, we have clams, Dungeness crab legs, I think is how I pronounced it, potatoes, shrimp, and sausage. That is what is going to be like in these bowls, and that's what we're going to be eating. Oh, and scallops. Sorry, y'all. We are basically going to be talking about my journey to 2,000 subscribers. How I started YouTube, steps that I learned to take and not to take, and things of that nature. So this, if you guys um, see my first seafood boil, I had a sauce. This is the same exact sauce, y'all. This is my favorite sauce. Like I said, I've seen it on a YouTube channel. Dear and Ken, if you guys don't know about them, you guys should get to know them. And... I just really love the taste of that sauce. I know people say you should try Beloved sauce, but I feel like Beloved sauce has sweet stuff in it, and I'm not really for the sweet kind of sauces. I really like the more, not too spicy, but kind of spicy. Cajun sauce. If that makes sense. Right? The Cajun sauce? Yeah. The first topic we are going to get on is how I decided to start my YouTube channel. When I was pregnant in 2018, YouTube was really my best friend. I used to sit on YouTube 24-7 and just watch videos all day long. My favorite YouTubers to watch at the time were like Carmen and Corey, Nick and King, um, Quazy Mob, I don't know if you guys know them YouTubers, but they were my favorite type of YouTubers to watch. And I always said I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I just never did because you know, I didn't feel like I had any backing. Like I didn't have, I didn't feel like I had anyone that would kind of like want to take the journey with me or I didn't have anyone who would support me if that makes sense why is that I don't know I just I thought it was silly like I never heard of anybody like so maybe I thought it was silly because I never heard of anybody that I personally know starting a YouTube channel I didn't think people actually did that my first ever video was a prank I had my boyfriend saying that I was pregnant again and I just had had a baby in October. <laughs> now I don't think that video is still up on my channel. I don't know why. I think YouTube deleted it because a lot of my older videos that I did when I first started YouTube, they are gone. Like I had a video with my sister. I had like a whisper challenge. Like I had a whole lot of videos and a lot of them are gone. So maybe it was because I was copyrighted. I'm not really sure, but yeah, so. And then day one, nine again, they seen it. Yeah, that's true. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys probably seen those videos. I really started from like absolutely knowing nothing about YouTube. Um, I made my own intro. I recorded on my phone. I think I had an XR at the time, an iPhone XR. I didn't have a ring light. I used the lamp. Actually, the lamp I'm using now. I used that lamp. I, I bought like a two dollar fabric sheet from Walmart as my backdrop like I really didn't I started from nothing on YouTube honestly and as months went on I started to learn YouTube more so when I was putting up videos I was putting up like random titles not putting no tags in my videos putting up videos that aren't trending basically just being amateur on YouTube because I really don't know much about it but once I started to get into tune to YouTube and starting to learn like the algorithm and things I have to do for my videos or things that you just might have to do for YouTube, then I started getting more views, I started to get more subscribers and stuff like that. Now, at a point of my YouTube journey, y'all, 
I wanted to quit YouTube. Like, I don't know. There was a one video that I put up, and it basically was explaining why I wanted to quit YouTube. And one person in particular, he inboxed me, and she was like, you know, you shouldn't quit. You just gotta find something that kind of connects to you to kind of get you more views and stuff. And I was like, you know, I took her advice and I was like, you know, you're right. So I started to do more hair stuff. I started to talk about like uh, being a mom. I started to talk about like facial stuff and stuff like that. And then once I gained those subscribers, I kind of started to reach off into other topics. And then one day I got 2000. It didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen in a month. It took me almost a year. I tried to work my way up in YouTube with milestones. So say I reach 100 subscribers. I reach 100 subscribers on Monday of May. Say I make 100 subscribers May 1st. By June 1st, I want to at least have 150 maybe. You want to kind of set realistic goals for yourself because if you set goals like, oh, I have 100 subscribers on May, you got to realistically set a goal for yourself. You can't say, oh, I have 100 subscribers and I want 1,000 by June. It doesn't work like that. You can set your goals that high. I'm not knocking anybody that does. It's just simply saying you gotta be realistic. If you feel like you can do it, go for it. But you also wanna be realistic about it, to be honest, because you don't wanna hurt your own feelings in the end, thinking that you can do something and it didn't work out. So that's what I kinda did. It was kinda hard to stay motivated doing YouTube and doing videos because sometimes you don't always have a video idea every single day. Our subscribers want you to post as much as you can but sometimes you just can't you know. So I would say I would suggest starting um, a schedule definitely because you don't want to say oh I'm gonna um, post daily and then one day you just can't post. And if you do do that just make sure you let your subscribers know why you're not posting. Because your genuine and supportive uh, subscribers, they're going to want to know, oh, she said every single day she posts. Where is she at today? So you always want to let your subscribers know if you aren't posting that day. If many of you may know, I didn't do Vlogmas, but I did like post throughout Vlogmas. And starting like today, like after this video, my upload schedules will most likely be on the weekends. I'm really excited that I hit 2,000 um, subscribers, y'all. I've waited like so long for this day. And I'm just proud of myself because I really did work hard. I uploaded videos. I found what directed people to my channel. And now I just gotta work with it. Um, my most popular video used to be my sneaker collection video. But since then, I have made other videos that kind of brought more traffic to my YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't yet, I have um, reacting to my subscribers fight videos. Those videos have brought my YouTube channel up a lot and I really like it. So I do make, if you guys notice, I make those videos a ton. I'm actually gonna make a part four soon because people still have been sending in videos. So I'm gonna make a part four soon. And I honestly think my first video finally reached 7K. So, I think I'm really happy about, you know, the flow of the video and how everything is going and everything. I don't, if you guys um, have watched the previous videos, you guys would learn that I did recently get monetized. But y'all, I do not make many, any money off of those videos. All those videos are ad restricted. I cannot make any money off those videos. So, I do those videos solely for the purpose of fun and to entertain you guys. It's just been a heck of a journey, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm super excited to see what more YouTube brings to me. See the people I meet, the things that I do, all that kind of stuff, that makes sense. Um, I'm excited to move on to 3K, 4K, just to keep grinding to get to where I wanna be. Um, as many of you may know, if you guys watch my videos, I always say I wanna make YouTube something that I can do and make money from so I don't have to work I can work for myself so that's still the goal and then to be honest I don't think I'll ever stop until I reach that goal y'all I would love to be able to make money 
like just recording, editing, making thumbnails, you know, simple stuff like that. It just all just feels like good, you know? It's not too much work. You can pick up the camera when you want. You can wake up when you want. You really don't have nobody to report to. So, things like that would make me very happy. So yeah, that is still the goal. This video has been like all over the place, y'all. I thought I was gonna go topic to topic, y'all, but I started at how I started YouTube and I literally just went all around. So, this really is just me talking about my YouTube journey, should I say. If you guys made it to the end of the video, it is time to talk about the cash giveaway that's happening for two of my special supporters. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. I really would not be here without each and every one of you. From zero to 2,000, it wouldn't be possible without none of y'all. So anyway, the first thing that needs to be done in order to be get entered into the giveaway is you have to be subscribed to your girl. Now. In order for me to know you are subscribed to your girl, what you need to do is go to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, also follow my spam page that I use to put all my YouTube content on. Then I want you guys to screenshot that you're subscribed to me, that you're following me on Instagram, and then tag my Instagram and post it to your story. I'm going to have a post on Instagram once this video is uploaded. If you guys want to increase your chances of winning, you can comment under it and tag some of your friends, which will increase your luck in winning, should I say. I will be giving away $50 to two people. So altogether, that's $100. So $50 to one person, $50 to another person. The deadline is going to be January 21st, 2021. What I will do is I will I know there's an app, there's a spin wheel app, and basically what you do is you put all the names in the spin wheel and you press it and whichever name it lands on, that's who wins the giveaway. Now like I said, if you comment, if you comment on the post and tag friends, your name will get put in that many times. So say you tag three friends, I'll put your name in three times. Say you tag four friends, I'll put your name in four times. As many times as you tag people under the post or you share it or anything like that sort, your name will get entered another time. I want to give people as many chances or opportunities as possible to be able to win this money. And listen, I know it's not a lot. I know it's only $50 to some people, but at the same time, $50 is a lot to me because y'all, y'all really helped me get this far. So I feel like $50 is really showing you guys that I appreciate the support and the love and all that extra stuff. I will also post it on my community page so you guys will also see it on my community page. Y'all, like I said, we're just on the road to more and more subscribers. We got here and we can't give up now. Once this video is over, head over to my Instagram. My Instagram will be linked in the description box below, y'all. So don't forget to go check that out. That's it and that's all in this video. And I will see Nine Gang in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wow, wow. When I come through, all I see is wild thoughts.